This is how to ask for help on an e-pinion. First, go to your account. As you can see, this is mine. And find an e-pinion that you didn't get a good reading. This is my opinion about my first car, which is my 96 Ford Crown Vic. And I got a somewhat helpful on it, and I want to improve it. So I click on that link, and if you scroll down on the side, you'll get a part that says, about the review. And the top advisor for this section is Don C230. I click on the link, and it'll take me to his profile. Usually it has the member's name, their opinion idea, their location, and most importantly, their email address. I then copy, paste this to a new message on my email account, and I usually put a subject uh, called Opinions Reviews. And then I write a simple letter, such as this. Don, could you please tell me why you rated my review as somewhat helpful, and how can I approve it? Thank you, dolphin underscore sushi, which is my opinion account ID. Then I hit back on the computer and copy and paste the URL address on the top so that he knows where the opinion is. For me, I got an easy and quick review from him. He says simple things about a car review, such as buyers, there's different kind of buyers. And it is not all out of the ordinary for them to look at one of the largest investments they have. He also goes to tell me some of the simple criteria that is needed for a great car review, such as my experience and impression of the car, entry and exit, the interior, acceleration, brakes, handling, traction, transmission, visibility, and MPG. He reminds me that a person who's looking for a car review online is looking for something specific, and they want to be able to read a view, view online like they're test driving the car so they don't have to spend the time doing it in real life. After getting in a very helpful email, I always send a thank you email. And I thank him for what he did and how he helped me for this review. And this was a simple video on how to ask for help on any opinion.